What up, people? You already know who it is. It's the Bully Blow Retail, the clearance rack representative. And yes, once again, we are back like that income tax. It's 2019, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What up, people? You already know who it is. It's the Bully Below Retail, your clearance rack representative. And yes, we are back with another dope video. It's 2019. Welcome back to the future. I thank all you guys out there uh, for tuning in. You could have been anywhere in the world uh, right now, but you chose to be right here with Bully Below Retail, checking out these steals and deals that we are getting on fashion and footwear. So I thank you uh, for tuning in for checking out the channel, for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos, for commenting on the videos. I could not do this without you guys. Like I say, I already been in this like almost two weeks. I done dropped four videos, got 51 subscribers. I got 99,949 more to go. So this time next year, January 2020, we'll see exactly where we are from right now. Uh, 51 subscribers. Where will we be at January 2020? And over the last uh, four episodes, I think Bully Below Retail has established uh, its lane in the ShoeTube uh, universe. Um, it's all about expectation management. So when my viewers and my subscribers come to my channel, they know that they're going to see uh, videos where I'm showing them the latest steals and deals out there on fashion as well as food. As well, people, I have a lot of ideas uh, for the Bully Below Retail channel and my subscribers. Uh, already we have two videos coming every week. That's every Tuesday and Thursday. We also gonna be doing some uh, on foot action. We're gonna be doing some segments like, what are you rocking today? We're gonna be doing some in-store vlogs as well as uh, interviews with local sneakerheads here. So like I say, a lot of things uh, is in the mix. And um, I'm going to keep you guys in tune. All right, people, now that we got the formalities out the way, we're going to go ahead and get into the shoes. I picked up three huge steals uh, below retail this weekend. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you my last uh, pickup for 2018. As you can see from the OG box, it is a Air Jordan 1. And the box reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Varsity Red Sale. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, a star is born. This is a well-crafted Air Jordan 1. You have that nice black and white colorway. Um, you have that nice tumble leather that reminds you of elephant skin. It's so soft and buttery and smooth. And you have that multicolor green and white uh, embroidered Nike check sitting on top of a red leather uh, Nike check. You have the white midsole and then the red uh, Air Jordan logo right there on the left-hand side. So as you turn the shoe around, you can see that it has the nice uh, red leather uh, tongue tab that reads Nike Air. Uh, you have the two uh, wing tabs. On the right wing tab, it reads A Star. And on the inside of the left one, it reads It's Born. And it's dated December 10th, 1984. That's the date that Michael Jordan uh, appeared on the Sports Illustrated playing against the Milwaukee Bucks. So that's how they based uh, this colorway off of um, that particular issue of uh, Sports Illustrated. And it really was a star was born. So right then and there, in that exact moment in time, um, during his rookie campaign, Jordan introduced himself not only to the league, but to the world. Hey, I'm Michael Jordan. I'm here. I have arrived. And I'm not to be played with. And you got two choices. You can like it or you can love it. The choice is yours. I don't care. Needless to say, Michael Jordan went on to have one of the most illustrious careers in NBA history. So there you have it. A Star is Born, a Sports Illustrated a cover, December 10th, uh, 1984. This is a dope shoe. And you can get real fly on so many different levels in this shoe. All right, people, so there you have it. That was my last pickup of 2018. The Air Jordan 1 Retro, A Star is Born, or Sports Illustrated, whatever you like to call it. Nevertheless, it's a dope shoe, and I can't wait to rock it. But enough of that. We're going to go ahead and get into my first pickups of 2019. I got three steals below retail this weekend, and I just couldn't walk out of the store without having them, um, even though I didn't need them. Nevertheless, let's get into the shoes. 
All right, people, so like I was saying, I picked up three pair of shoes uh, this weekend, and they were all way below retail. Um, I got two pair from uh, Foot Locker and one pair from Foot Action, and uh, let's get into it. All right, so the first one, as you can see, is a Nike Air. Uh, this is a Nike Air Force 27. The colorway is black and court purple. Um, retail price, $160, uh, and it was on clearance uh, for $49. So, let's take a look at the shoe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I was saying, we have the Nike Air Force 270. Uh, kind of a bulky shoe, not a shoe that I would normally buy for myself. However, it was marked down from $160 uh, to $49 on the clearance rack. Um, so, I didn't pass on it. Uh, you got that nice black uh, new buckish upper. As well, you have hints of green and purple throughout the shoe. Uh, you have that zebra striped uh, pull tab as well. You have a gray midsole and gray wing flaps, purple Nike check. And then you have your Nike bubble that's probably 40% uh, of the sole of the shoe. So uh, overall, not a bad shoe. Um, for my style, I would give this probably a six and a half out of a 10. But hey, what would you do? Would you pass on this shoe or would you drop the cash on this shoe, especially for $42? So that's like over $115, $120 uh, discount on this shoe. All right, so as you can see, this next shoe that I picked up this weekend is an Air Jordan. Um, I walked into Foot Action yesterday and they had two large tables with shoes stacked probably five high on each table, all the way across the table, and then five high up under the table. Then they had shoes on the floor all the way around the table and every shoe uh, in that clearance section was 39 bucks. So, you know, I found quite a bit uh, that I could buy, but I tried not to go too crazy because there are a few uh, pair of shoes coming out this uh, month that I want to get. So I just picked up this one pair from um, Foot Action yesterday, and it is a Jordan True Flight. Uh, colorway is black and dark gray. Retail price, $139. And this shoe was $39 on clearance. All right, so here it is, people. The Air Jordan uh, True Flight. It's a nice, sleek uh, silhouette. Um, you have that nice, uh, suede new buckish type material. All black. Can't do it. True Flight kind of puts you in the mind of the uh, Air Jordan 7 uh, silhouette. You have the Jumpman logo right there on the uh, side of the wing. Uh, on the back of the heel, you also have a Jumpman uh, logo. And then... Uh, on the tongue of the shoe, you have a Jumpman logo. Um, like I say, this is a good uh, running to the gym shoe, um, playing basketball shoe. So as far as style points, I would probably get this shoe a seven or a seven and a half. Um, and I base that seven and a half off uh, the sleekness of the silhouette, the aerodynamics of the shoe, and the comfort uh, that this shoe has. This shoe is extremely comfortable, and it looked like a shoe that Jordan would actually play ball in uh, back in the 90s. Like I say, it reminds you of that uh, Air Jordan 7 uh, silhouette. And then again, hey, this shoe retails at $139. It was on clearance for $39 plus the military discount. I walked out the store with this shoe for probably uh, $32, $33. So tell me, what would you do? Would you pass on this shoe or would you drop the cash on this shoe? All right, so last up, there's another shoe that I got out of the uh, Foot Locker off the clearance rack, and this is an Adidas uh, Pro Fear, retail price $120. I got this shoe for $29 off the clearance rack. Yes, you heard me right, $29 on the clearance rack in Foot Locker. Yes, it is a big bulky shoe. No, I would not normally buy this shoe for myself. However, for $29, I was not gonna pass it up. And this is an extremely comfortable and rugged shoe. Um, you can crossfit in this shoe. Uh, out here in Hawaii, we like to uh, climb mountains. We like to walk trails. We like to do a whole lot of uh, outdoor activities. And this shoe is definitely comfortable enough and rugged enough to pass the test on all those uh, events. As far as style points on this shoe, I would probably give it a six. And uh, that's strictly based off of the comfort level of this shoe as well as the ruggedness of this shoe. This shoe is built like a tank and it seemed like it's indestructible. It probably lasts longer than mankind. So for $100 off of retail, would you pass on this shoe or would you drop the cash on this shoe? 
All right, people, so we just went over my last pickup of uh, 2018. That was the Retro Air Jordan 1 uh, Sports Illustrated or A Star is Born. Next up, we went over the uh, Nike Air Force 270 retail price, $160. It was on clearance for $49.99. As well, uh, the Jordan uh, True Flight. $139 retail price. It was on the clearance rack in foot action for $39.99. And then last but not least, we had this Adidas uh, Pro Sphere. Uh, retail price $120. It was on the clearance rack for $29.99. And I couldn't pass it up, so I picked it up. All right, people, so there you have it. It's the Bully Below Retail, your clearance rack representative. Back with another dope video. I'm showing you my first pickups of uh, 2019, as well as my last pickup of uh, 2018. Um, so let me know in the, in the comments below, um, would you pass on these shoes or would you drop the cash on these shoes? And we're talking about $100 off a of retail price for each one of these. Not these, each one of these. $100 off retail price. What would you do? Pass on the shoe or drop the cash on the shoe? All right, people. So once again, it's the Bully Below Retail, your clearance rack representative, back with another dope video. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And please hit that notification bell so that you receive notification of all my future videos. And as always, peace to the people. And we out.